This is ABC 7 News at 6. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Good evening, I'm Haley Wilkes. Thank you for joining us. Scott has the night off. We begin tonight with a developing story out of St. Joseph, Michigan, where two bailiffs have been shot and killed at a courthouse. The sheriff there says the gunman is also dead. A deputy was also shot, but is in stable condition. Little is known at this point about the circumstances surrounding this incident. The sheriff says he doesn't know yet why the gunman was in the courthouse or how he got a gun. New information today about the deadly ambush in Dallas reveals it could have been much worse. The man who opened fire on police last week, Micah Johnson, was planning an even larger attack. Johnson targeted white officers near the end of what had been a peaceful Black Lives Matter protest Thursday night, killing five and injuring others. And this tragic incident will not discourage us for, from continuing the pace of urgency in changing and reforming policing in America. Investigators say the gunman, an Army veteran, had been performing tactical drills and had bomb-making materials at his home. They say he even detailed some of his plans in a journal. Police are hosting a candlelight vigil in Dallas tonight. Meanwhile, protests continue across the country as people mourn the loss of five officers in Dallas, as well as Alton Sterling in Baton Rouge and Philando Castile in Minnesota. Philadelphia protesters are now on their sixth day. This morning, the crowd chanted and held a sign that read, White silence is violence. The recent shootings of Sterling and Castile by police officers have sparked a wake of anger directed at law enforcement. And now many agencies are on high alert after five Dallas police officers were killed last week. But as ABC 7's Bo Beth Yates tells us here on the Sun Coast, much of the anger is being overshadowed by love. Bo Beth. From thoughtful letters and emails to gifts of appreciation, the Sun Coast is rallying behind our area law enforcement agencies. People have just kind of grabbed me and said, you know, you guys are appreciated, just know that. And that, that just gives me chills. Sarasota County Sheriff's Office Captain Charlie Thorpe is emotional when thinking about the love and support many in the community have been showing law enforcement. When you put on the uniform, you're really thinking about those people that put on a uniform Thursday night and went about their job just like we do. And now they're not with us anymore. And I really am grateful to a community that will stand up with us and let us know that they support us every day. Residents even tying blue ribbon on the pillars in front of the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office to commemorate the fallen. But it isn't just the Sheriff's Office who's feeling the love. So many people in our community that are coming out just to thank us and tell us that they support us and phone calls. I had citizens from Newtown calling saying we support you, we love you, we love the SPD and it really is heartfelt and it is it was so needed to help us with uh, dealing with the, the tragedy. From cards to food deliveries, the support for law enforcement continues to pour out all across the area and that appreciation is also coming from those who support the Black Lives Matter movement. I want people to understand that when their movement is going and when their, their protests are happening, they're not saying we don't support law enforcement or we hate police. That is not, they're not saying we're anti-police, but they're fighting for a cause. They're saying we're against police brutality. Activist Junior Salazar says it's important for the community to rally against all injustice, whether it's against law enforcement or anyone else. We're saying blue lives matter, black lives matter, all lives matter, and, and we're having so many things thrown around um, without really understanding the issues that really lie behind each of these things that some, some people are fighting for. So we're going to have to come together as Americans. We're going to have to come together one way or another. Um, the separation can no longer continue. In the meantime, law enforcement officials say the support is a step in the right direction. I want to articulate every day how grateful I am for these men and women because they're just phenomenal. To see our community stand up and support them, is, it's breathtaking. For full disclosure, we want to note that Junior Salazar is running for the mayor of Bradenton. In the meantime, a community conversation is scheduled Wednesday night to discuss how to prevent a clash between the community and law enforcement from happening in this area. Back to you.
Thank you, Bo Beth. Officers leaving the Venice Police Department, it's causing some concern in the city about public safety. Some, some shifts have been left short due because there's not enough staffing due to this high turnover. After reviewing what caused the last 14 officers to leave, the city determined it is a pay issue. Officers are likely to make more money if they work at other local law enforcement offices. So the chief of police has asked the city council for an additional $163,000 in next year's budget. There's a lot of time and money spent in hiring officers and uh, building their careers and then for them to leave and go to another agency isn't the best uh, financially, fiscally responsible way of uh, operating, a, operating the police department. Budget conversations will continue tomorrow. The city would also like to negotiate with the police union before any salary increases are made. A Sarasota couple is facing felony drug and child neglect charges after allegedly selling cocaine to undercover detectives with children in the car. Destiny Dexter and Reginald Frazier are being held at the county jail without bond. The sheriff's office says the two met with undercover detectives on four occasions throughout May and sold them a total of two grams of cocaine. During the last incident, detectives say four children under the age of five were in the back seat of the car. They're now in the custody of relatives. More skimming devices are located on the Sun Coast. The Northport Police Department worked with the State Department of Agriculture in finding a skimmer at the mobile gas station near Plantation Boulevard and the Circle K on Bobcat Trail. Police suggest checking your bank statements if you used your credit or debit card at these locations recently. Skimmers, which crooks put on gas pumps and bank ATMs, can steal your financial information. And now we'll head over to Bob and get a check on the heat. It keeps marching on. It does, but things are looking a little bit better for those afternoon and evening storms to cool us down a little bit. We're seeing some of that action right now, but not very widespread like we normally would see during a typical summer uh, pattern. You can see that activity near Northport and another line uh, developing into eastern portions of Manatee County. This one in particular near Northport has been uh, rather intense at times, but now it is starting to weaken. That's the story, too. There's some uh, mid-level drying going on, so as the storms get uh, higher into the atmosphere, they tend tap into some of that dry air and it kind of weakens them after about a half hour to 45 minutes or so. This one had been producing some lightning strikes and pretty impressive strikes just about 15, 20 minutes ago, and now it isn't, but there, there's still a potential that we could still see a few more lightning strikes with this cell as it moves on. Uh, Storm Track did have some uh, moderate hail uh, reported with it earlier, and then this cell in particular has really, really just flared up in the last 20 minutes or so. It'll march off to the west. It's the East Coast Sea Breeze making it all the way over now to Mayaka City, and eventually that will head off to the west. So there will keep a chance for some showers and a few thunderstorms running in through 11 o'clock. Otherwise, staying pretty hot out there, 84 degrees at 11 o'clock. Kaylee, back to you. Thank you, Bob. A leading provider of homeless services on the Sun Coast has a value of more than $43 million to Manatee County. That's the finding of a USF College of Business study. Graduate students worked with the nonprofit organization to figure out its economic impact. The $43.25 million impact is broken down into three categories, the main one being cost avoidance. The study showed that Turning Point saved $22 million in inpatient hospitalization, emergency room visits, and incarceration. It's seemingly everywhere you turn. This new Pokemon game called Pokemon Go, but straight ahead why police are urging caution when using this mobile app. Need new windows? Buy direct from the factory. New South Window is having a sale. The more you buy, the more you save. Buy four windows, save 25%. Buy six windows, save 30%. Buy eight or more windows and save 35%. How? Because New South owns the factory and you cut out the middleman. Award-winning, energy-efficient windows and doors installed with a lifetime warranty. New South Windows are made in Florida for Florida homes by Florida workers. Visit NewSouthWindow.com or call now. If you have a suspicion for harboring prostate cancer, we have a way of diagnosing by using an exquisite instrument called three-dimensional color flow power Doppler ultrasound. Using this system, we can identify abnormalities within the prostate that you could otherwise never detect. The Detoli Cancer Center is the only center in the southeastern United States which has this technology. If you have prostate cancer, we will find it. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. 
The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Looks like we're getting another new neighbor. Now you could be the millionaire next door. Play Monopoly Florida Edition scratch-off games with a top prize of $5 million. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Hurricane season is here, so when severe weather threatens, count on the official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We bring you storm warnings faster and with more detail than ever before. And track storms right down to your neighborhood. On air, online, and on your mobile device, turn to the official Sunco Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. It's 2016 and Pokemon is still going strong. A new app, Pokemon Go, was just released and many are now glued to their phones even more than usual. But police have a couple of safety warnings about this new game. ABC 7's Kate Flexter joins us live from Sarasota to explain. Kate? Haley, the app's only been out for a few days, but already there are some safety concerns associated with it. There was even a case of an armed robbery associated using, excuse me, using the app. The main concern is people using the app while driving, and the police department says they would treat that as texting while driving. They said that would be a secondary offense in Florida. We did speak to some players of the game and asked them if they would consider using the game while behind the wheel. Take a look. I mean, it's common sense is, is mostly what it is. You don't, you want to be driving, staring in your phone. Just like using your cell phone in any given instance, you shouldn't be driving and using your cell phone. If you're sitting there trying to throw Pokemon balls at different characters while you're going 40 miles an hour down the road, you're not paying attention to the road. And so we want to encourage folks, go ahead and stop and park and then play the game. Don't do it while you're driving because you're not only endangering yourself, but you're endangering others around you. Of course, important to note that none of those incidents were here. Haley. Thank you, Kate. It's definitely been uh, uh, quite a craze. And now we're going to head to Bob and get a check on our forecast. But we're going to go to break first. We're losing exotic animals on a daily basis, and the ones that we have in captivity are really the ambassadors for their wild counterparts. I'm Clayton Rosaire from the Big Cat Habitat and Gulf Coast Sanctuary, housing over 150 exotic animals that needed a great home. And if you love animals, please help them. Do it locally. Support your local no-kill shelters, your local wild animal sanctuaries. Make a difference where you can. The kitchen is where life happens. Minnesota Flooring now offers a wide variety of beautiful quality craft-made cabinetry to make sure the heart of your home reflects your style. Visit us today. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, it's all about getting more for your money. More years, more miles, more 2016 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winners than any other brand. Stop by to see our new state-of-the-art showroom today, and you can lease the most award-winning small SUV on the planet, a new 2016 Subaru Forester for just $2.29 a month, complimentary maintenance included, at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time 
to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. So, Bob, some areas getting hit with storms. Yeah, a few but not storms everyone. around. Not yeah. everywhere. It's kind of like the uh, afternoon and evening thunderstorm pattern has taken a vacation, just like I did last week. <laughs> just like you did. We're yeah. glad to have you back. It was a staycation, yeah. too. Basically, in Florida, I had a great time down awesome. at John Pennycap. John Pennycap is a uh, national park. It's the only one underwater, so it's uh, just beautiful That's there to do some awesome. snorkeling. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, weather cooperating pretty much uh, everywhere. Uh, although, showers and storms were around. Again, this afternoon and evening, they're very, very isolated. Here is some uh, activity right now starting to develop. Uh, Northwest Brayton and beautiful puffy cumulus clouds that were out there earlier today. Uh, this is from Norm Schimmel. Appreciate that shot up in Northwest Brayton and he gets around. Uh, I'll tell you what, our tower cam also showing some uh, developing storms uh, east of I-75. Towering cumulonimbus out there. Uh, yes, indeed, producing some lightning strikes. The storms are, are not staying around very long, but they uh, are producing some locally heavy rainfall. A few lightning strikes now and again. And and also some uh, possibility of small hail. Now we'll go to the tower cam of Lakewood Ranch and you'll see that webcam uh, starting to show those clouds can kind of gathering up and producing showers and storms now well east of I-75, but they are progressing toward the coast. And we may see some of that later on this evening, right near the coast, say around 9, 10 o'clock. And it looks like uh, currently, though, we're not getting the widespread variety of storms that we would normally get. We are seeing a few develop along the east coast breeze, which is making its way over now and kind of colliding with the west coast breeze, which is typical. And we're going to get back into that more normal pattern. But right now we have a bit of an inversion, and that puts a cap on the storm, so we don't see as many widespread strong cells like we would normally get. You can see that activity pretty intense now uh, just to the west of Mayaka City along State Road 64 is where the intense lightning is occurring and we could have some small hail uh, right there as well. We go to the 3D Titan radar and it shows the extent of these storms fairly high enough to 50,000 feet. When you get that high of a storm, there's some potential for some oh, gusty winds as well as some small hail. Uh, here. Now, as far as the overall picture goes, high pressure again is developing where it normally develops right here uh, east of the Bahamas and east of Florida, which provides us more of this east to southeasterly wind component throughout the morning hours. That little west coast sea breeze develops and we start to see those afternoon and evening thunderstorms and it'll be a more, I think, on a regular basis right through the weekend. 92 still at this hour. Feels like 101 and the dew point 73. West winds are at 10 and the pressure 30.06, which is fairly high. The high today was 95, two degrees shy of the record 97 set back in 2015. This morning's low, a few degrees above average. No rainfall officially at the airport right now. We're below average for the month and for the year. And as far as temperatures go tonight, for low temperatures, we'll be above average in the mid to upper 70s, 76 in Venice, 75 at Lakewood Ranch and Sarasota at 76 degrees. So a warm night, muggy night too. We could see some storms, I mentioned, up to about 11, up to 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock midnight. And then that activity will push off into the Gulf where it will uh, dissipate. And then we'll start off sunshine tomorrow. Showers and storms developing again along that sea breeze front and pushing toward the coast. Some of that could be rather heavy. So this pattern is going to stick around, it looks like, right in and through as I said, the weekend. And then after that, we may see some drier air move in uh, midweek next week. A light chop for boaters. Southeast winds turn to the west, 5 to 10 knots, and the water temperature is steamy, bath-like, bath 91 degrees. UV index will be at 10, and as far as the tides go up, coming high tide will be at 624. Uh, so just in a few minutes from now. And then uh, low tide at 113, another high tide at 714 tomorrow morning, sunset at 828. Isolated evening showers and a few thunderstorms are possible. That one right now in East Manatee County, have to keep an eye on that. And as far as tomorrow goes, sea breeze storms developing late in the day. A, more of a summer-like pattern. We'll start to get some of that rainfall scattered about all the way through Monday of next week with showers and storms in the mix each and every afternoon and evening. Haley? 
Thank you, Bob. New recycle bins have rolled into Manatee County. The county is replacing the old dual recycling bins with new 64 gallon single stream containers. The types of items that can be recycled will not change. Residents can continue to recycle newspaper, glass bottles, cardboard, milk cartons and more. But what's new about these bins is that you don't have to sort the items. Now with the single stream recycling, the residents will be able to put it all into one container without separating out their recycling and it streamlines the process, makes it more efficient. The county hopes the new bins will encourage more people to recycle. More than 116,000 families will receive these new carts now through September. The Punta Gorda Airport is seeing a substantial increase in passenger traffic. The Charlotte County Airport Authority announcing that there was a nearly 26% increase in traffic from this past June from June of 2015. The total count for last month was upwards of 98,000 passengers. The Airport Authority is crediting the quote unique markets that Allegiant Air has developed to and from Southwest Florida. Hi, I'm Linda Carson. Coming up, we'll take you to a little neighborhood on the bay that's a well kept secret. City reeling, national outrage and mourning for the officers killed in the line of duty and the victims of two deadly police shootings. More on the investigation into the Dallas shooter. What police are learning tonight on World News Tonight with David Muir. That's Chuck, proud homeowner, regular do-it-yourselfer. Today he's attempting an electrical repair. This is Pablo. He's an electrician with Mr. Sparky. How's he doing, Pablo? Terrible, Mike. Yeah. What Chuck doesn't realize is that almost 68,000 home fires are caused every year by electrical problems. What? If he doesn't have the proper tools and training, he's liable to start the next one. <laughs> Little help here! That's what I'm talking about. Call 888-8-SPARKY. You uh, might want to write that number down. <laughs> Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. Getting older shouldn't mean giving up all the things she loves to do. It should just mean, well, finding new ways to do them. Right at Home's professional team thoughtfully selects caregivers to provide help with personal care, housekeeping, and of course, meal preparation. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> we can provide the right care right at home. Whether you're a homeowner looking for a professional installation or a contractor looking for top quality products, Sarasota Glass & Mirror can meet your every need. For 42 years, Sarasota Glass & Mirror has been the area's premier supplier and installer of quality glass products for your home or business. As an authorized PGT Wingard dealer, we know how to protect your home. With everything from the PGT Wingard impact resistant windows and doors to shower enclosures and decorative mirrors, the Sarasota Glass & Mirror team has the knowledge to tackle any project. A serviceman returning to civilian life was the first person to build a home in San Remo. Today, property on that little piece of land sells for millions of dollars. ABC 7's Linda Carson takes us there to that community in a place we call home. There are 67 homes in San Remo Estates, 53 directly on the water. Scott Schechter, president of the Homeowners Association, says there are many reasons this is a great place to call home. One of them is location. It's equidistant from downtown Sarasota and Siesta Key Beach. It's on the mainland so you don't have to deal with trouble traffic with the bridge. You're two minutes from any place and then 
the main feature, though, is the water. It's San Remo is man-made, created by dredging. It's surrounded by water on three sides, water up to 16 feet deep. It was first planned in the 20s, then the economy tanked and it went on hold for 30 years. The basin was developed in the early 1950s and it's protected sailboat water, which is a really unique feature in Sarasota. Several small islands were created nearby. Where they took the dredge dirt and built the little rookeries for the birds that are out there. So every night we've got hundreds of parrots going back to the rookeries and, and then in the morning we've got all the um, all the birds going out to feed. Many older homes are being replaced by new construction, but updated restrictions make sure the new homes fit in. The main thing that they did was required that we have a 60-foot setback from the water, as opposed to the city, which only requires 30 feet. And we also require very low fencing, three-foot high fencing that's made of a see-through material. ABC 7's own weathercaster, Wendy Ross, grew up on San Remo. We came here in 1970 to Sarasota, and my dad is a boater, and he wanted a place for his boat. So this property came on the market and it was in 1971 when they bought this property for $25,000. Homes they now sell for around $4 million. For Wendy, it was a great place to grow up. It was really riding bike distance to Siesta Key, to Riverview High School, to shopping, to all the things I loved to do. And I had friends who lived here, so we had a wonderful time. That's her dad's boat she's on. He named it the Weather Girl in Wendy's honor. Residents say this is a very close-knit community. It's so friendly. Everyone says hello to each other in the morning. We have our neighborhood gatherings where we all cook, bring something, and it's at a different home. So you get to kind of see everybody's home. San Remo, a little piece of paradise and a great place to call home. Linda Carson, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Very cool. Like to see Wendy out on the boat. Yeah, Talking nice boat, that. too. Yeah, yeah nice really area. nice Looks boat. like a real nice area there, close to Siesta Key. Not bad. Uh, looking for some big storms now in East Manatee County. 40 mile hour winds, some heavy rainfall possible over the next uh, half hour or so. All right. Thank you, Bob. Have a great evening. See you at 11.